we have also power cell assembly uh, facility where we can make not only coin cell, we can make power cells for uh, high energy applications. Some of our uh, applications, as you see here, we work electrochemical energy technologies. We work on lithium, sodium ion batteries, and also electrochemical capacitors. Here we, we, you can see that our power cells are lighting uh, LEDs. They light LEDs, and we also do uh, using coin cells to test the performance of our materials. So. Uh, state of present day activities the activities we are focusing is we uh, see with we use lmo lmno lmnc lfp lto uh, sodium ion battery zinc ion battery supercapacitor these are the area we we are covering especially the cathode materials this is a manganese based lmo lmno lmnc we focus on them because of the strategy we benefit from manganese resource and the LTO because of the uh, titanium. We follow these uh, mechanisms, the, this strategy to these materials when you make the cathode as well as the anode, they have their challenge. They come with challenge. You make your structured material, for example, LMO, you make a spinel, uh, face centered cubic structure. But this material, it fed its capacity very quickly. So we are doing to stabilize its uh, performance, its capacity, by doping, by nano-sizing, by surface coating, and microwave radiation. Especially this microwave radiation is our te technology, which we patented in our uh, laboratory. So we, we do, as you see in the first row, we do the lab scale reaction on just uh, hot plate. In the range of 10 gram, we do coin cell. We test the, the, our cathode materials, which we synthesized, lithium manganese oxide, the performance of the material using the coin button cells. And when we do on the collaboration to go to the uh, larger scale, we use in one to 10 kilogram uh, scale up bench scale up uh, projects and we do we test those uh, performance using the power cell and battery packs we collaborate we associate with university of western cape they have this facility so dst has strategically coordinated we are uh, focusing on the synthesis scale up but the uwc they focus on the battery pack making battery pack and NMU, they are good in the battery analysis, the, the pack, the, that is how we work. And University of Limpopo in modeling. So this is how our students, they uh, assemble coin cells. We have the uh, glove box to assemble the coin cells. And this is the electrochemical uh, reaction, the mechanism of how lithium Iron battery uh, works. I'm just uh, going because of the time in a rush. And we focus, as I said, this cathode materials, three types of cathode materials, the layered one and the spinel as well as the olivine. This is the layered part. Uh, this lithium cobalt oxide is uh, initially, uh, initially discovered or applied for by Sony. And now most of research is taking place on the lithium manganese oxide LMO because of its high voltage. So this is how the structure looks like because of the, the disproportion reaction at uh, four volt, there will be the capacity fading. As you see here, the capacity is dropping uh, drastically in cycle uh, number. So we do by doping and by microwave radiation, by nano sizing, we improve the performance or the stability of uh, our cathode materials. Uh, as you see here, this is, we make from EMD, as you see in the first, uh, the top left, we have EMD, we use that EMD, the raw material, we make 
nanorods and improve the electrochemical performance of uh, the cathode material. We are comparing our results, as you see, from the left side is our material. The nanorods we prepared, it is very stable, up to 120 cycles. The capacity remains uh, stable, whereas to the right side we see the LMO commercial one, which is uh, uh, fading uh, rapidly in just 15, uh, in 15 cycles. And we did this also the, uh, using the local EMD, uh, raw material, we prepared the cathode material, and we used this, uh, we tested using partial. This work is done by UWC, and our material also here, it shows a very stable uh, performance. Uh, we do also lithium ion battery, sodium ion battery characterization testing here, as you see. We do a lot of uh, work we published uh, with uh, journals like PCCP. And these are some of the results uh, from our... The, 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 the last work I want to show is the titanium oxide nanotubes. We prepared from particles. We make uh, titanium oxide nanotubes and the performance has been improved uh, dramatically. You can see here, you see the, uh, the, the left side is from the particle titanium oxide, or the right side is uh, from the nan nanotubes and the stability in the left down that you can see the capacity is fading very rapidly for the, the the pristine or the precursor we used for titanium oxide, whereas for the nanotube, very stable, the one, the red on top is. Uh, to summary, so the, I try to show you the transition metals, manganese and uh, titanium are very useful for electrochemical energy storage applications. This mineral's availability in South Africa is a benefit and accessor both elements are being used for cathode and anode material for lithium and battery. And there is a trend to industri industrial size manufacturing is also very important. I think, uh, thank you very much. And I would like to acknowledge CSR uh, Energy Center, CSR Electrochemical Energy Technologies and Energy Materials, we are based now in energy center. We are working on energy technologies uh, and uh, we have a lot of activities in energy center. Thank you for your attention.